Hi everyone, if you are new to this channel, in this series I'm using the final mission of the Solaris Showdown campaign as a test bench for different mechs and weapon loadouts. In one of my previous videos of this series I've tried for the first time uh, this uh, new controversial weapon which came in uh, with this DLC, which was the binary laser. Actually, I had uh, two of them installed in the Atlas, uh, in the uh, uh, A7-RS variant specifically. And uh, as I was uh, suggesting in that video, uh, th they were in indeed quite underwhelming, quite underwhelming and did not meet my expectations because um, besides uh, the ridiculous weight the nine ton each the heaviest uh, energy weapon ever they had a somewhat uh, a slower firing rate mm, pretty mediocre range on top of uh, an immense uh, hit uh, generation. Even though heat wasn't all that bad in the real combat uh, due to the uh, low firing rate which uh, kinda allowed the mech to cool down a little bit so it wasn't that bad but everything else was just quite underwhelming. Nevertheless, uh, despite that uh, somewhat uh, disappointing experience, somewhere uh, in the back of my mind I've been thinking that perhaps maybe I haven't given those uh, lasers enough justice and maybe that Atlas chassis uh, wasn't just an, you know, an ideal placement for those. So for that matter, I've decided to give these binary la lasers another chance and I wanted to try them again, but this time around in a different chassis and moreover I wanna see if I can actually stack four of them in the all energy based annihilator ANH-1E variant, which is uh, gonna be this one, so I've pre I've shown this uh, this mix of PPCs in my previous videos. In case if you are interested, please check out that video because this one actually uh, I think is gonna be uh, my next favorite uh, loadout for, for this chassis. It's a perfect balance for um, you know uh, a perfect uh, balance of long and close range weaponry so i've been quite successful with it in that other video anyway so today it's gonna be different i wanna see if i can stack all of these four b lasers in here and see what it's gonna be like all right and now we are heavily under tonnaged you know eight extra tons because remember this one weighs 9 tons. Let's actually take a look at the specs. So like I said, this is the heaviest energy weapon ever in this game. Uh, the rate of fire is 9.188. Uh, and, uh, you know, compared to the um, another hottest weapon in this game, we have 14.118 um, uh, uh, RPM and this weighs only uh, 7 tons, this ER PPC. Now, even though uh, this is slightly colder weapon, uh, the, the ER PPC than the B laser, like you see, the B laser generates um, 10.5 points of heat, this one 9.3. In reality, from my experience in that other video, it's not uh, that bad, not as bad as the ER PPC due to the lower firing rate. So like I said, it's uh, it kind of allows the mech to cool down in, uh, in between a bit more, which is ER PPCs, uh, they can easily overheat the mech if you are not careful with them. 
Anyways, so now we have to uh, start cutting corners somewhere because we need to, you know, uh, go down in tons. So I think I'm gonna downgrade the medium lasers to small lasers instead, right? And then I will just go ahead and start removing these heat sinks. Alright, so yeah, we get a little bit, you know, less cooling. We went from 4.85 down to 3.95. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how it does. And yeah, I am not using, once again, I am not using any double heat sinks for the reasons uh, I mentioned in my previous videos. I explained uh, in detail why I am not using double heat sinks in this chassis. I am not gonna waste any time explaining it again in this video. So if you, in case if you're interested, please watch my previous video on this subject. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this work order. And w what's nice about this mission is that it allows your work order to complete before it starts. The upgrades, I'm not gonna touch anything here. Same thing as um, I I've shown uh, in my previous video as far as this chassis is concerned. So let's finally go ahead and take this mission. Not gonna bother with negotiation points. Because we'll be replaying this in the future. Yeah, let's wait. Now let's finally go into the battle. Hello there, mech fans. Duncan Fisher here. Filling in for so here are these finally lasers, death. right? It could have been poison or natural causes. And I'm sure no one will look into it in the spirit of self-preservation. It's all come down to this, Mason. My info has it the inglorious down fairly quickly still, so I don't think it should be an issue. And the Solaris Council. Yeah, and then we have small lasers in here. They'll unleash their heavy hitter once they know they can take a clean shot. <sighs> no pressure, huh? You should have backed up when you had the chance, Mason. Assassin. Right. So many of us. Yeah, firing no rate until the wheels come isn't off. fun. Shot lands. Their weapons are offline. Their opponent means business. All right. Finally, he goes. Yeah, running a bit hard. New target, commando. Let's try. Let's try to work mostly at the um, longer ranges. Now. New target, spider. Target acquired. Wow, that was a real disarming moment in the match. I try to avoid shooting them in alpha strikes, so I'm mostly shooting them in pairs. Actually, I think I can, you know, unlock my arms now for a greater accuracy because all of them are packed in the arms anyways. Now we are in trouble. The path to victory has just been made even harder after that strike. One of their weapons has been neutralized. Put it down. They're not shaking that one off. Mm, okay, okay. Ah! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. It's kind of busy in there. Oh, their weapon systems are hurting. They really need to dig deep to find a way to win this match. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm even gonna be able to survive this uh, mission with such an atrocious firing rate. Okay. Ammo explosion. Nice. Weatherman just declared his match a scorcher. Okay. Took out another opponent, making it look easy out there. He blasts his opponent into another dimension. Then he sends another opponent to the discarded bin. Oh no, a forced amputation. He'll really have to leg out a victory here. 
pretty cool. My boy is facing some adversity out there. His firepower has been reduced. Let's see how he responds. A precision shot lands. There goes a metal limb. Oh, they're really coming unglued out there, folks. Oh, there's some heavy metal action. Steiner Stadium goes wild as Mason strikes down his opponents like giant metal bullets. Where is the repair bay? I think it's uh, this one. I'm not getting It'll any indications uh, to, today for That's some reason. Very helpful. Yeah, I mean, compared to that previous PPC uh, mix, which I've shown before, uh, it's definitely underwhelming. It's definitely underwhelming, still. So it says activate repair bay. Is it this one? Which one should I activate? What? the hell is going on in here you've got to be kidding you see i'm not getting any in uh, indications uh, of repair base safe approach. which but one should i be like a using you just gotta or is it this one say, hey bud let's party it's so weird like no no signs whatsoever Let's hope it's this one. Okay, yeah, Don't indeed it's face. this one. System offline. Mason has made it to round two. And I haven't been dragged out of the broadcast booth. Win-win. Better watch the hit now. Let's take down his arm first, the one that has PPC. the alpha strike now Oof, that attack was a real parting shot direct hit one of their weapons has been neutralized a strategic attack that could have a serious impact on the outcome of this match whoa mama that ammo blast really warmed things up New target, Marauder 2. Now, good luck removing this one now. New target, ah, okay, okay, well, we did it, we did it. Oh, and he's going critical. Potential game changer here, folks. Their offensive arsenal just suffered a significant setback. They could be in serious trouble here. Uh. The match takes a vicious turn. This battle is really taking its toll. And metal wins. This could be the Almost point got of the match, a thermal folks. shutdown. Just took a big hit. Okay, okay. Well, we are, so we, are we are going so far. We are going. We are going. I thought it's gonna be a lot worse, a but he just dispatched another we opponent. are still doing it. New target, awesome. It's gonna take oh, me some time baby. to walk it's gonna be over a real there. Tough climb for him without that leg. We're on the brink of a major momentum shift in this contest. His weapon systems were just dealt a critical blow. If he's not able to adjust, this match could be over in a real hurry. Wow, that ammo just cooked off. That was. Bomb. Ammo, as this assam doesn't have any ammo. Okay, 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 well, this is... Uh, 
All right, all right, all right. As long as you maintain a steady shot at this, uh, you know, it's doable. It's doable. Let's see how we do in the next round, where we will have more uh, assault mechs. He's getting ammo explosion. Okay. Oh, okay, he's done. He's done. Not, mm, so far, so good. So far, so good. Let's see. Let's headshot this annihilator. Okay, he's done. Now this king crap obviously is gonna go after me. Getting this AC twenties. All right. Here's. He's still alive. This this stupid urban mech has been taking uh, shots like crazy, even in my previous videos. What's up with this uh, guy? Man, and he's finally getting stuck somewhere. Okay. There he goes, finally. Wow, wow. I wanna salvage and try this uh, Urban Mech uh, uh, variant at some point. It now really intrigued me. New target, Stalker. That battle mech is marked for destruction. I seriously crippled him. Well, at least he doesn't have to worry about tripping on his own feet now. Target acquired. Oops, that wasn't a good target for that matter. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm disarming to them. It's just not bad. Well, that's uh, going to be a challenge. One of the Mexicans just lost an arm, and it's not going to go back. This king, uh, I mean, a cra uh, regular crab just refuses to go down. Okay. Okay, we are disarming the stalker, which is a good thing. Yeah, the Vulcans are weak. Right, and there is this stalker. Okay, okay, well, mm, it's actually, you know, so far so good, so far so good. So far so good. I don't know whether I am being lucky or it's uh, just a good we weapon, but... We are making it so far. Uh, I, I thought, honestly, at the beginning of this, I thought that I am not gonna make it this time in in this mission because you know the firing rate and all the heat. But you know, it's it's getting there. System offline. It's getting there. Final one-on-one -on -one duel for the tournament crowd. Strutting into the arena, it looks 
Looks like we have Caleb the Sledgehammer Rourke looking to smash my boy like a nail. It's hammer time. The Sledgehammer sounds like a real tool. Why don't you leave the one-liners to the professionals, buddy? Okay, there don't he goes. Don't let him get a clean shot, Mason. Yeah. Got it. I'm on him. All right. All right. So there, no, there is this binary la laser, so-called, or be laser. I like my new job, and I like breathing. <laughs> and you're in a job that needs you to keep talking. Seems like a good fit. Mm. Indeed, the new year crowns the Fedcom unification champion, and most importantly, a new Solaris commentator. Assuming the great houses don't hit the mute button, you'll be hearing from me shortly. Stay tuned, Mech fans, and I'll see you in the arena. Fool, your new name target practice. You don't stand a chance. Then I guess you got nothing to worry about. Okay. Well, well, well. 24 mech kills. This is perhaps uh, uh, the lowest number I've got so far while using the Annihilator chassis. The other build which I've shown you I think had something like 30 mech kills if I'm not mistaken. So this is definitely the, the lowest one so far. So uh damage per per second ratio is quite low due to the f low firing rate of those lasers so the damages are probably gonna be just you know, the 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 basic armor damage armor plating okay, let's see if we ref repair it yeah it's just an armor pretty cheap and quick repair so far all right all right so here is this loadout this quad binary lasers here so what are my final thoughts did uh, did i change my opinion uh, on this binary lasers since the last video where i featured this in the atlas well, to be honest, not really, not really, even if it changed my uh, mind, then not by much, not by much. Still, still, it is indeed a highly controversial weapon there. I can see why a lot of people uh, are skeptical about these lasers, um, so am I, so am I. I don't think they really worth it. I didn't think so in the previous time I've tried it and I still don't think that they really worth the weight given their low firing rate, excessive heat on top of um, a fairly mediocre range because if, as you can see 843.75 meters it's quite a joke like even compared to the ER lasers which is colder and which shoots farther 1.265 uh, 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 meters over one kilometer basically well let alone this ER PPC which shoots uh, almost like uh, two kilometers away almost almost so the the, the, the farthest uh, energy weapon in this game yes so yeah i don't think it's gonna do it for me to be honest this uh, binary lasers uh, i just don't see this scenario where uh, where i would use them some people on facebook say that you know you can use them if you really really need to utilize some you know tonnage if you have some extra tonnage available well i personally i can see i can think of such a situation whenever i um, 
build uh, build a mech loadout i always fight for an extra ton available i'm never in a situation when where i you know just need to fill it up with something maybe maybe let's say that marauder 2 it uh, perhaps uh, can utilize them, you know, to, to, to be able to use all of the available tonnage. It does have some extra space and tons available. But even then, even then you will end up with only three of these. And what are you gonna do with such a low firing rate? I, I mean, the, the damage per second. Yeah, on paper this damage looks great, like 24 points, which is, you know, kind of like AC20. But this is not AC-20, and in reality, it kills things very, very slowly. And you have to be super accurate with this, and you have to guide the target carefully as uh, as it burns, you know, to be able to deliver all of those points. So yeah, for me, they definitely don't uh, don't worth it. They they aren't a worthy weapons. And hey. Before this DLC, before this uh, Solaris Showdown DLC, let's face it, uh, where they introduce it, you know, this in this Solaris Showdown uh, DLC, let's uh, let's be honest, we've been quite successful without them, you know, we lived just fine without these belazers and as far as uh, new weapons are concerned which came in with this new solaris showdown dlc the only ones uh, that i kind of liked i liked the uh, obviously the ppc dash x this is like one of my favorite energy weapons now yeah those are great no question about that at a close range they're devastating i liked ac5 rapid fire even though it consumed uh, a lot of ammo surprisingly i did like a lot that um, um rapid fire ac2 which was really good i did not expect that at all but i was quite successful with those in the other annihilator builds I didn't like uh, at all the rapid fire AC20. That was kind of uh, horrible, to be honest, a horrible experience. And then I am yet to try AC10 uh, rapid fire variant, although my expectations are um, somewhat low about that. But I don't know, I could be wrong. And then finally, these belazers, as I said. I, I don't think they worth it. I don't think they worth the tonnage. Yeah, I, um, I think I might as well just sell them and forget about them. Again, we all did just fine prior to this DLC. Without them, you, you know, they're kind of useless. They're kind of useless, so I will continue not using this especially you know especially like in my previous videos i i i've shown a much um, a much superior build with the, the mix of those two er ppcs and the two ppc dash x so let's uh, let's forget about this binary lasers all right well thank you so much for watching please let me know your thoughts down in the comments and until the next one have a nice day